Now one of uh, the best ways to illustrate and practice the use of layers in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements is to create a children's kaleidoscope and I'm sure you all remember what they look like. So it's like multiple images and you used to have a little sort of tube that you look through and you twist the end around and it would kind of reflect beads or buttons or glass something or others in the end of it on mirrors and you get this fantastic kaleidoscope pattern. So to get this to work we need to have a blank document and to get a blank document you press Control or Command N for new document and when you do that you can choose for example let's see uh, I've chosen I think uh, from the document type international paper and I've chosen A3. You can of course just put in the numbers if you want under width and height if you want to do that. So here's an A3 sheet of paper so, so to speak and we need a photograph and here's a photograph. <laughs> Very easy. The way the transformational way the uh, kaleidoscope effect works best I think is to use a simple picture. So this is relatively simple it's just a you know flower head uh, with some dew and some sunlight. Uh, so that's okay. Now, what you could do, of course, is if you think, well, we've got wasted a lot of space over here on the right-hand side, you could, of course, crop it to begin with. And so I could just sort of shave a bit off that side and maybe shave a bit off that side. So you can sort of cut out the interesting bit, I suppose, to begin with. Okay, having done that, we need to select it in order to copy and paste it into our white document. Very easy to do. Uh, first off, we select all or select everything, which is Control or Command A for all. Okay, and you know it's selected because suddenly you'll see this line of marching ants. That's what it's called. It's an active selection line or a line of marching ants around there. So Control or Command A, and then we need to copy it. So we can, of course, go to the Edit menu and choose Edit Copy, or the quick way is Control or Command C for copy. Now before we paste it we need to bring the white sheet of paper to the front and here it is I've just clicked on the little tab at the top so control or command V for Victor allows me to paste it and you may think well why not use P control P because P is for printing so it's just a matter of who at Adobe has got hold of that particular function first I suppose and say we, we want it for printing and so the pasters have to go for a spare keyboard now keyboard uh, letter so here we go and with the move tool you can see I can move it around it's actually almost the same height as an A3 sheet of paper so it's actually a little bit big. So the key thing to learn here is a thing called a transformation and what a transformation allows me to do is to transform the shape or the size of the image as a layer. Here's my layers palette here on the left hand side and you can see we've got the background which is a white sheet of paper and we have the photo at the top. So if we press control or command T on the keyboard like that you will see what we call handles little handles appear around the corners and the midpoints of the image. Now the key thing here is with Photoshop Elements is you grab hold of a corner any corner will do and you will see when you move the mouse close to the corner a little diagonal arrow appear. Don't do this and click it with the curvy arrow because what that does is rotate the image so we don't want to do that. So just be very careful what you do. Have a look, go close to that corner, and then you click and you just push it into the middle. It doesn't matter how sort of far or wide you move the mouse. It's kind of locking the proportions off, and we can shrink our image down to around half the height of the paper, like that, and then click OK. So now we've got a small image. Now, you may have chosen an iPhone photo, you may have chosen a low resolution digital camera photo, in which case when you paste it into the white document, it's going to come out pretty small anyway. But this was quite a high resolution one, so it's come out pretty big and I've had to shrink it down a bit. So what we do now is we duplicate the layer. Okay, so it's called layer one. I can literally right click and choose duplicate layer. This looks a little bit more complicated because I'm doing this in Photoshop but the process and the look is exactly the same in Photoshop Elements. So I've duplicated the layer. You can see I've now got layer one copy but I don't see an extra layer and that's because unless I use the move tool and click and drag it you won't see it and there we go. So just drag it to one side and just get it to line up to one side. doesn't matter which way you go. In fact I'm going to push it up to the top left corner there I think just so it fits into the corner of the image and then we're going to drag that one and just pop it next to it. So you think, yeah, okay, it's not terribly exciting at the moment. What we need to do then is take one of those two images and Control or Command T again, 
and this time we're not going to change the, sh the size or the shape of the image we're going to right click anywhere inside the middle of the photo and we're going to choose flip horizontal okay and so it just flips that layer and it goes that way around and we click OK that's looking pretty good so now you can begin to see a little bit of that sort of kaleidoscopy thing happening in the middle of the image it looks a bit spooky uh, here's the thing what we can do is we can then sandwich these two layers together we can put them together and we do that by holding the shift key going to the layer palette and clicking on the one layer in this case it's layer one copy that isn't highlighted click so in elements of course this will come out blue it's a slightly different color but you can see now in Photoshop I've got this highlighted and I click it a second time and those two are now joined together so if I move one the other one goes with it there are a couple of functions that you can practice for example if I right click I could just say to it look link the layers please and you can see now a little padlock or a little chain symbol appears to the right of each layer and that means that these are now totally and utterly chained together they're stuck with each other uh, what you could also do is you could press control or command E on the keyboard and that actually flattens them so then you don't really have to worry about the linking because now those two layers are now just one layer again they're stuck together but the key thing to remember here when you're practicing this is do not do it with the background layer selected so if you do that with the background layer selected and you press control or command E what will happen of course is sets it into concrete on the white slab and it says sorry can't move it because you've nailed it to the concrete slab so don't do that okay so make sure it's now free all right so all we do now just to complete this is to duplicate layer one copy again and I can just duplicate the layer again very simply you can give it a new name if you want or you can just call it layer one copy two and uh, I'm gonna move it down to the bottom kinda only just fits there but this time I'm going to right click having pressed control or command T I'm going to right click and I'm going to flip it vertically aha uh -huh. so there's your kaleidoscope image beginning to happen let's just move this into the middle of the picture for you there we go and I'm just lining it up and there we've got a kaleidoscope image and that's all you have to do so just understand to make sure that we have a simple image to start with we have a duplicated or we have a new document which is just a white sheet of paper as it were you copy and paste your simple image into the white sheet of paper you then reduce it down to size if you need to using the control or command T transformation and then you duplicate that layer very very simply duplicate that layer move it to the left or to the right butt it up against the original one that you've copied link them or merge them duplicate again and flip them horizontally and vertically etc etc and you have a bit of fun